Hello everyone, Cyberrun here. Welcome back to a new episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Modern Day Mod. Playing with the United States of America. So now we are in the year 2005 and the President of the United States is George W. Bush. What we really managed to make last time was that because this was actually event triggered and we actually managed to invade the Afghanistan right here and we managed to take him out. No, we annexed actually Afghanistan because I think we need a little bit more territory. Then we invaded Iraq just as in real life happened and we managed to annex a big part of it, including the town of Bestra and Baghdad. So all I have to say is that we're doing a great job here and we managed to puppet two nations here such as Kur Kurdistan and Iraq. As you can see, the president of the Iraqi nation is this guy here, which I think was also the president of Iraq in the real life after the Americans invaded them. So, what I can say is that we're going to go on with the game and we're going to see what's going to happen next. As far as I can remember, we were planning Let's see what we're doing. Oh yes, we were trying to attack Cuba. Then I think I wanted to put up another another political advisor here, and then I want to um, justify against Iran. Although this is going to be difficult, but we'll see what's going to happen. So let's see, army of purity. No, critical population minus one percent. Army officers school. No recruitment strategies. No fascist doctrine. Path of order. All right, so they are actually uh, fascist rulers. It's gonna be cool to take them. Now, of course, the question is, what we're gonna need to do this? Let's see. If we're gonna have to justify against them. Oh, it's gonna take a lot of time. If we're gonna try to take only one region. Um, this will be this 174 political power. But we're gonna do it, we're really gonna have to take, uh, to conquer a small part of Iran. What I want to do actually is to gain access to uh, that this American territory here, which was Afghanistan, to gain access to the Persian Gulf. This is what I'm gonna actually try to do, try to achieve through this war here. And then we're gonna also puppet the Persian Empire or Iran. We'll see about that. Now, first of all, we're gonna have to wait until we're gonna have enough political power to do this. It's gonna take a lot of time. Now, we are actually right now just fighting against Cuba is gonna take actually another year expected to finish 28th of November 2006 and unfortunately this thing with um, justifying war against other nations is gonna take more and more time I guess what happened also in the last episodes was unfortunately that we managed to wipe out USA out of NATO this is also not a good thing at all Let's see what's going on here. So we're taking a lot of attrition. 3%. Unfortunately, this is what it is. There's nothing we can do here. I think we're building something here. Let's see. In Baghdad, we're building a lot of ports now. This is good. And then we're just going to build everything we're going to need. Infantry equipment models are going to give us some research bonus. And I would say that's right, we're going to start all over with national focus. Let's see. With diplomacy, international diplomacy. So here we have a lot of options, but I would go for United, for Europe. So, NATO expansion is not possible. Well, I'm going to try to strengthen ties to the EU. And try to invite Ukraine. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this. Invite Sweden. Attack the Russians. War on India. But we'll see what's gonna happen. So they just strengthen ties to the EU first. 
And then the Jal moved to a day which is like a month, and the United States replaced with them, the ruling state. Strength of ties to the EU. The US dollar became the international currency. Alright, so here we have escort carriers, escort efficiency 30%. Let's go on with it. We cannot research anything in this area right now here. So we're already researching here, we're already researching, and here too. Let's go with infantry models. Still gonna take a lot of time to research this M4 machine gun, but let's see. Let's go with this mortar special forces. Research time 104. We're gonna increase the big organization of our special forces. In fact, there are some decisions available. We're not gonna take it just now. I guess we're gonna have to wait until we're gonna get to 100 and then. Uh, after we get to justify against Iran, we can try to achieve more political power in order to get another political advisor or another major military stuff ever or players. That's what we have here. Bad weather penalty. Between his eyes, on his forehead, is written the So let's see now what's gonna happen next. I think that next is gonna happen that we can try to I think this guy Ambrose Ambrose Shank will be good for the power 10% more is what we're gonna actually need outdated equipment. That's how we're doing with production anyways. We're still gonna have to wait a lot of time to justify. And we're gonna justify against a lot of nations. We're gonna try to expand the United States a little bit because we have the possibility. Although like I said this is a great challenge what we're facing right now because we are actually not in any faction at all. I mean, we're all on ourselves against the whole war, so we kind of have to be careful a bit here not to get uh, to get at war with the whole war here. We're gonna have to be very careful. Now, let's see. As you can see, war tension is zero. This, I think, is good. Because if war tension is too high, then other nations will join factions and our enemies will grow stronger. Not this is not the case right now. So let's see. We're producing a lot of multi roll and we're gonna produce even more mechanics. How are with ships here? A new navy is on its way. With an amphibious assault ship. And we do have enough material, as you can see. We have more and more tanks, more and more light mechanized honey type, and I don't see any old mechanized. Do I have a hair major aggressive rally? Influence or popularity? Yeah, all right, well, whatever. Uh, let's see what's going on with the research and deploy. So we still need all the materials, but as you can see, we're not going to produce much of these things here. Infantry brigade, that's what they need. Abrams and Humvees, that's going to be alright. Infantry brigade, I think. Yeah, this is here. A very small brigade. 4,500 men, but this is going to be alright. We do have a lot of units here, so also on the border with Mexico. Alright, now let's see what's going on here. We have an airborne division that we should deploy with 3,000 men. So let's see what send them. This case, I think, are, is the Iraqi division, and they're also in Iraq and Afghanistan. We have a few other troops. The Prophet Muhammad, alayhi let's see what should send them. Oh, this being created yeah, that's right. this is good. by Allah, who will impersonate good point. No. So we have a little bit more political power that we're gonna spend uh, very quickly on um, just fighting against Iran. So we'll see about that. If the job is to deceive and get them to be convinced oh, encryption algorithm. Encryption plus one. That's good. Now let's go on. Let's see what can we do here. Number Signal one, Company he 2. Signal Company Initiative 3% more. Right, that's also cool. He will have to As you can see, we have a very good stability that gives us a lot of bonuses. You can take a look here at production. We are really producing a lot. I mean, dockyard output is huge, factory output is also huge. Factory production efficiency cap is good. Production efficiency retention, production efficiency growth. Everything is going very good, actually.
Michigan National Guard, 6,000 men. And even the Canadians, as you can see, are having a lot of troops on our border, but we're just ready to attack them just in case we can them. They are in NATO, I have to be careful, just in case if NATO will declare war on us. Hopefully not, but we'll see what's gonna happen. We do have a great relationship with them. Hopefully they're not going to declare war on us, including with the United Kingdom. So we're just gonna cost the war on them. In time, it's gonna cost more and more political power, I guess. So we're gonna need more political power, that's for sure. No, I don't like that we're taking a fusion here. I don't really like this at all. In fact, I think I can put the power in order to have less attrition. So this from somewhere else. We don't have any territory here. I think we have some kind of a canal, but we don't have it. This coast is being secured. Well, I won't send it too far away. In Alaska, maybe. Wait a minute. Where is Alaska? Here. I mean, just too far away. I would say. Let's just send them here as well. Uh, they are sending these troops out. It's a total mess. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. We shall see what we're going to do. Although, wait a minute. Um, yeah, which is one of these territories here. Click to remove. It's going to be a smaller territory. Easier to defend. Now, as you can see, we have less troops in uh, San Juan here. We don't really need too many troops here because we don't have a pretty good inter infrastructure. Some other units are arriving going to our base, just as I thought and wanted. Now they're leaving. They're redeploying our second invasion force. 24,000 men. This is not going to be easy to take. Now, do we have here any airfields? No, but we're going to. Now we're gonna have two other tools, but okay, so let's see what seems to be we got all the all of them are right here in case of Texas. It's actually okay with me. Once we get in Baby Cuba, we're gonna have to we gotta take us here and we gotta have to invade from here from one moment. This is gonna be a very good opportunity. As you can see, it's gonna take another one year and then we're gonna have one. This is gonna be very awesome. No. But we're also doing good on the surprises. You can see we're producing more and more like recognized units. This is very good. And we're having, I think, a lot of infantry equipment, just like thought, SP artillery and other equipment such as motorized. We don't really have enough of them. Also, a lot of airplanes. We're producing a lot of bombers. We're doing just very well with. Uh, Production. I mean, there's no other we're playing in the United States with a huge power. But like I said, the, the main challenge is that we're dealing with the whole war game. Now, we're having a lot of um, modern equipment here, but we us get a little, a little bit more. You know, let's see how our factory is doing. So we're still building in Iraq a lot of stuff here. In Iraq, there is the General Schwartz, I think. Yeah, that's right. He's doing a great job there. Alright, let's get back to this to strengthen ties to the EU here. Trade influence increased, and now let's go on with the next level. That would be political reform. We're gonna go on with abolish the Electoral College, which will remove national spirit political establishment, which is political establishment, weekly stability minus 0, 02. Any political power game minus 04, so that means we're gonna gain more political power very soon. Things are going better and better actually. Okay. We have another fleet here. So this is maybe too warm, which has a lot of ships here. So two aircraft carriers, battleships. 15 destroyers, they want some new stuff right there. So I think it's gonna go like a bit it's gonna be backed by Charles Mitchell, which has one aircraft carrier, battleships, um, 
14, destroyers of 19, something like that. Alright, we're gonna modify the number just to see the way it goes. This is what this guy is obviously going to press the drop and establish a little bit of the same central organization. We would have to change something else of this immigration policy. Like the regulator, he's gonna increase population. Moderate taxes can be changed to high taxes. Okay, can decrease the ability or low taxes. And it's gonna increase the ability, but here we have gained political power 10%. Here, Political board 20% at high taxes. I guess this is going to be very important. I've got to take a look here. We're doing already very good. So we have researched this type of... Um, I don't know what this is. Let's let make an honest, actually. So let's go on with it. Let's go with improved artillery. And basic 3D manufacturing is going to increase the factory output even more. This is really great. Now we're going to research the M8 buffered tank. And I think we have an obsolete, outdated design, the Humvee one. There you go. The Humvee is too outdated right now. So let's try to replace it. Let's see if we can. Yeah, basically we could upgrade one. We're not going to do it just yet. I'm just going to wait first. So we're in low to six right now. Looks like there's more on the top. We're still producing a lot of ships there. We're gonna keep producing it, but we're gonna have to make sure we have the best fleet and navy in the world. Convoys, it's only convoys at one thousand, it's also good. And I think we're just about to justify it against Iran. Let's see. One or seven, I think we're done. I think we need one and eight and eight years. One and seventy-five. No, we're not yet ready. It's gonna take three years. It's gonna take more and more to justify wars. This I think find this as a handicap at this mod, I think have some kind of possibility to justify a little bit here. Once you get an advance of technology and stuff like that, this is what seems realistic to me. Now, our Iraqi allies will also support us in our offensive against Iran, actually. So, we're done. Now, this can increase the mortgage a little bit more. So, like I said, the Iraqi forces will also support us in our offensive against Iran very soon. As you can see, they have three di divisions. The Kurds are also having one division, so it's going to be four. After that, we're going to declare war on Syria, which military industry, whatever, is also nationalist, no faction. If we're going to take Iran, Syria will be the next to attack. And then we'll see, I'm not sure who we're going to attack. We have great relationship with these nations, for example. Let's see what they have here, the Indians. Social, liberal. Now the Bajani are just allied, I think, with the Turks, which are in NATO, so we're not going to want to bother them. Uh, let's see what's going on North Korea. Maybe we're going to be able to attack them. Social liberal. Next election, 2009. But I think there will be no elections here. I think it might be a big mistake here. My independence is guaranteed by China now. I don't have any chance to attack them at this right now. I can't forget about this. Okay, now let's deploy some more units here. So just the uh, infantry division red bull with 8,000 men. Okay, good. This is the fleet that we're having here, a very small one. 
So we have more special force organization plus five. This is good. Let's go on. We are researching almost in every field here. Alright, so I'll go with Gerard Four class now. It's gonna to take too much time. This ship's here, let's see. 54 days, Frigate 4. Now let's go with Frigate level 4. 54 days. This is very, very short time. We're not gonna to have to wait for political power in order to put up a new military stuff here. That will be, I think, this Ambrose Shank here, which will then increase political power even more. And then we're gonna justify against another nation. And then we're gonna go with another political organizer. So just let's see what we have here. Army organization. This will be cool here. This one as well. Defensive army drill training time or all. That will be this. Now here we're gonna have a lot of other specialists. Most political advisors are also very important here. And then we're gonna bring this also a lot of bonuses. Once we're gonna have them. So the infantry division is out. This is the... Whatever, whatever, let's just point it here. What do we have here? Improved artillery. But now let's go with convoy, convoy interdiction submarine organization and I think we have another obsolete design the SP artillery which is this one here there you go this we're gonna we're gonna produce uh, new um, major factories and we're gonna be able to produce also this uh, design of uh, set proper improved artillery. We're gonna be able very soon to produce it, I'm sure. SP improved artillery, Gen, Gen 3 light mechanized, whatever. 2006 Turin Olympics, the games are concluded. I'm almost done with the Bosch Electoral College. We're still involved mechanized, but it doesn't matter that I'm trying to do so. Can I actually increase that this one here? I've got to increase production, but not yet, maybe a little bit. Or actually, let's just do it like that. I really want to produce more of this mechanized divisions. And what we're producing here is two main divisions, three division A, for instance. Yeah, they, they have a lot. Where is the where are they? Light mechanized light. So yeah, actually some mechanized, not that much actually. I still don't understand why we need so much. Do we have any attrition here that we're taking? Doesn't seem so. Now I pointed this out here that this army should also guard the Houston area. The problem is that they have sent almost all of their forces there when they should send everything in Guantanamo. We're gonna send them in Guantanamo just before we're gonna attack Cuba. It's gonna take a little bit more, to say the least. So first of all, let's go with this strategic bombing, 10%. Let's see what the encryption algorithm 3. Here, we're gonna be very soon with research. Gonna be done. Now, being based ability 1% and national, well, national spirit, only to establish the minimum of the spirit. Then we're gonna have to choose between a reactionary ideology, a reactionary doctrine, a libertarian ideology, or progressive policy. Now, let's go on here with American economy. So, what do we have in this area? Are these options revived? The Rust Belt, Industrial Oversight Committee, Spend Monetary Control Act, Military Production, Centralization Reform. I find this important here. Let's put this one here. Well, 
Alright, so now we have the new definition of spirit. First Amendment, perhaps. Also, the removal, maybe not an official. Second Amendment is also one. No, actually, minus 10%. Now we should be more for the power, yes. Yeah, 1.17. Oh my god, this is really good. It's going down because there is also Congress authority and the Second Amendment, which we should try to use by the game. Definitely a lot more political power. This is really great. and I can, but I cannot even see. Uh, I cannot see where the air airport is. Because of this graphic, although I have level 2, but... Ah, uh, man. I cannot support our troops now. Single company level 2. Oh, let's go on a bit. Group anti-tank. I guess it's gonna also be important. We're of course send more troops to 9th Order Phantom Division, 4,000. So, yeah. Hopefully she's gonna send more troops in Guantanamo, uh, I think. No, she's going to do it. What's the order? Centralized Fire Control. Soft Attack on Let's go on here. 500 days. What's this for? Naval Strike Torpedo Tactics. That's, I guess, good. Servers. Shock and all this, right? And Frygate 4. So we are here. Oh, let's see. Improved construction tools. Aluminium and steel factory construction. Speed 10%. Now we have another outdated equipment here. A freedom class. Yeah, let's do this might be level four. A lot of them. Frankly, level three was still producing plenty. <laughs> Not even done, but doesn't matter. And then we have the LA D25 design. So let's go with all four. So how do with the military factories? Yeah, we're still building a lot. This is really good, actually. This is perfect. Do we need any resources now? It seems a little bit, perhaps, aluminium. I'm not quite sure about that. But we need more. Okay. 
no matter what, because the Cubans are having a lot of future security. This is their own border. I think I have to secure them. They're going to definitely secure it as well as they can. And it's just going to take a few months and we're going to take them out. And like I said, the next mission is to um, justify guess how much it's going to cost, by the way. At 146, and it's going to take four years. Shit. It's getting worse and worse justifying. Yeah, it's gonna just go on like that, I think. But we're gonna do this later, we're not gonna do this right now. We're just gonna do this later. It will be incredible if we're gonna have an opening at uh, the train see here. It will be really incredible. to put up a foothold here in uh, Central Asia because we have all the Iranians that are going to basically attack here. The Iranians are going to increase their military presence here a lot, but it doesn't matter, we have this force here and we're going to bring it, we're going to bring even more armies. Um, let's see, we have military access on this good. That's really, really good. We're going to bring up some more um, divisions here in the middle just before we can attack uh, um, Iran. It's going to be very important to take out Iran as quickly as possible. So we're going to try to reinforce this army here, the um, Iraqi invasion army, which will be Army 7 and Army 6, I think. Afghan invasion force as well. And I think that's what we can produce the divisions. In fact, what we can have to keep an eye on, we still need a lot of light making like that for sure. A lot of uh, tanks. Still need a little bit more industry anyway. We're just gonna have to wait first, I guess. In fact, let's see, maybe we can recruit, we cannot train this division just yet. So, what they have here. I think it would be cool here. Although, we still need light mechanized a lot. Oh, just the vision. No, this is going to need too much. We still need the role of light mechanized and we don't have enough. That's the fact. Reserve training. That would be, for example, coal. So let's do it. Let's train it. Mississippi. Well, this will also be good here. Northern Alliance Infantry. Wait a minute. Now take a look at this. The British government has requested that we join their alliance. This would mean abandoning our own, if applicable, and giving up possible leadership claims. Now, what that exactly means is that if you're going to rejoin, then this. National focus here with forming new alliances and all kind of stuff. It's gonna be bypassed. We're not gonna gain new alliances, but we're gonna be part against of NATO, and this is gonna give us some very big support because we're not gonna be we're not gonna have to deal with the major enemies alone. So I think this is gonna be really cool, actually. If you're gonna decline, we're gonna have NATO on our back, which could attack us at any moment, although I think we're gonna make it through. But it's gonna be very difficult. I, I would say, let's, let's say no. That's right. And yeah, let's just go on. Alone, on our way. So we're gonna make our own alliance, actually, very soon. So let's see what we have here. 50%, oh, that's really good. More, more political power, one of a sudden because of this uh, American economy um, um, 
advancement. Now, here let's go with the US Air Force models. So, more air bases. More research problems. So we're gonna opt for air bases. Then the West Coast air bases. Now, we're gonna need more political parties, like I said. So, let's put this on board section here, which is the old guard men. Now, we'll give us a bit more political power, I guess. 1.39. And now, I'm thinking of just flying against Syrian troops. If I wonder if we're still not gonna do this, we're still gonna go for even more political power. And we're gonna offer another advisor, which I think would be, let's see. This one would be very, very important for our troops here. Just as a, as a notice. Now here, let's see, here we'll also give some more. Now we can gain for, go for another political advisor. So this here, it's gonna also bring us some more political power to such as, let's see, that's not good. Factory output, this is good. Now political power minus 10%, war longer. Minus 15%, we're not, not gonna use this, guys. Factory output. At this one here, for example, Alberto Gonzalez. Stability, political power gain, this all would be important. I think we're gonna go for one of this. We still have a lot of political advisors to choose from. But then we're gonna also justify against um, the CBR, which of course is gonna take a lot of time, but it doesn't matter. Yes, the joint faction is not possible anymore. Unknown focus. Decryption algorithm 3. Good, so now let's see, let's go on. It's going to still take a lot of time with Gen 3, Generation 3, Night Vision 166 days, but then Night Attacks 15%. It's going to be also very important. I would like to send another troop to Afghanistan. No, let's do this guy here. No, they're gonna pass through um, Pakistan, I think. Alright, so we're putting up some more ships there. So this guy is gonna have a little more troops. Now we're gonna go to increase the forces of the parts in uh, Iraq. And let's see what we're doing with our registry. Oh, we're doing actually perfect. Now let's see what's going on here. Actually, good, but it's still more factory actually. Last time I was just checking right here what can we still recruit. So we have reserve, okay? Infantry brigade, and just put it. Northern Alliance infantry, we have it. Afghanistan invasion force, no, we're gonna need too much mechanized. Coalition infantry, for example. Now we're already having, having it. Iraqi invasion force. We also need a lot of other troops and five mechanized and mechanized here also. A lot of MBTs and this, this is a very big division, we're not going to need this just right now. I we could try to create new division um, types, let's see, light mechanized, mechanized, no, 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 no. And we're going to need, of course, a lot of army experience, which is being increased, but not too much, actually. So, at the time being, I would say, let's just get to some supplies here, whether the light mechanized and so on, and then we're going to create new divisions. First, we're going to need this. Now, we could also spend some stuff here. Let's see what this is going to bring, for example. More air experience. Expand. Yeah, let's do this. And even more political power. That's good. Let's increase the speed just a little bit more. And as you can see, more attention is going down also. And we're in May. We were just very close in declaring war on Cuba. I'm not sure how this is gonna end. But we will see. Improved anti tank. Let's go on. Naval invasion capacity. 
This is also important. And we have a design that we've got to replace. Tout and tank. Is that going to have more factories? Right. We're going to have actually a lot of factories, a lot of major factories. So at the end of the map, November, we're going to be able to invade Cuba. And the plan is that, first of all, we're going to send all our divisions in this army led by General Robinson to Red Shield and Guantanamo Bay, and then we're going to have to They're going to definitely attack us at the beginning, so we're going to have force. We also send our, our ships here on the Navy, which will be, I think, this one and this one here. We have the Navy here. Of course, we could send this Navy as well. This thing is probably just gonna wait for some. We have, thank God, a lot of emeralds that we can send. We've been deployed. I'm not gonna send all of our Atlantic fleets and so on. I'm just gonna send a few ships such as this one. This one. The important is to block Havana and, and also to offer some support for our troops in Guantanamo Bay. This is going to be the most important mission. The Cubans are having some ports that should also be blocked. We have some major sea regions here in the Caribbean that we're going to have to take care of and cover. I would really like to take Syria before ISIS will spawn. This is gonna cost insane like this. Fourth of June two thousand and eight will be done. We are into those, and I think in two years, I think Barack Obama will come in power. I just have the feeling that the Iraqians are starting to have more and more divisions here. Although, I'm not quite sure about that. Third Prince Victory is also arriving in Iraq very soon. Uh, and the uh, 28th Keystone Division is going to Afghanistan right now. This is a light infantry division. What we are sending. We would just fight against. Syrians very soon, very very soon. We're just gonna have, need some more advisors here. And then with one we're gonna, well, with another two political advisors. First of all, a political advisor, and then a military staff guy. 
which will be right here, and I'm gonna choose, there was one here, not really where it was, here, infantry specialist or something like that, which is I think very important. Infantry specialist, we're gonna increase uh, infantry division attack and um, defense, because we have a lot of infantry divisions, and I think this is gonna be very, very useful, as you can see. Take a look at this enormous division, 24,000 men here. This is insane. So Japan embraces the path of war. <laughs> Do they want to get nuke again? We'll see. Okay, West Coast air bases have been built. Right, let's go with the US Navy. And we're gonna go right now with destroyers model 2, which is gonna bring us some research bonus here. Uh, let's see how we're doing with research here. Convoy interdiction. It's gonna very soon be done. That's really good. And here, we're still struggling to produce some marine divisions here. Now, we're doing with equipment. Yeah, finally, we're gonna have a surplus of tanks, which is great, and hopefully light mechanized as well. As you can see, we're also producing a lot of mechanized. The production efficiency is going towards 100% slowly. Um, about tanks as well, production efficiency is, is at 80%. It could be maximum, but I'm not sure. Oh, we also have some free military effects, so we're just gonna let them free because I'm gonna produce some more equipment later. We're still building a lot of factories like this, so we're just gonna wait first. Right. So we have free access through, uh, through Pakistan. This is great. That means we're not gonna attack Pakistan just now. As you can see, the Chinese are having an incredible amount of territory. No, wait a minute, no, 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 um, I just wanted to check how it's gonna cost to justify war. No, same thing, convoy, convoy introduction, that's good. Let's see if we can research this one here, no, not yet. Here we're almost done with the researching, perhaps experimental rockets, not convinced, it can take a lot of time, modern hardware to it's also going to take a lot of time, so I'm going to have to bypass this. I mean, here we're going to have to go. No, we're going to have to wait first. The Tusk tank is also very f far away. These are also too expensive, just going to go on. And back here. Yeah, let's go. Let's cut efficient destroyer organization and missile cruiser organization and capital ship armor floating fortress 161 days. Let's go with it. We're gonna need um, more troops in Kabul and more airplanes here. So let's deploy them. Oh, we have all the wolves. Uh, this, I think, is uh, naval bombers. We don't need them. Transport. So. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. It's too much. Let's just build. Some more stuff here. I think it's gonna be super important. No. Serb King of Sweden goes to war. Finland joined NATO. Jo Norway joined NATO. Take the war on Finland. Oh man. Sweden is trying to advance very quickly. Estonia. Now Sweden is gonna be at war with the whole NATO, I think, right now. Yeah, just like thought they're at war with the whole NATO. They're gonna be taken out, I think. It's going to be a very really interesting war to watch. I'm quite curious to see if the Russians will intervene somehow, somewhere. Right, so we are in August.
I just somehow have the feeling that we can also go to war with the whole NATO at one point. And this is going to be interesting. I just can't wait to have... This is going to be difficult for us, but we're going to do a good job here. Okay, I'm going to have to end the recording here, and I'm going to go uh, next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.